students, this is Teacher Yan and we're back again to our science class. Last week, we learned about living things and their key features. Now, for this video, we're going to talk about non-living things. We're going to review about what are non-living things. Okay, let's start with our vocabularies. Can you tell me what is this picture? This is a bag. Very good. It's called bag. What is the color of the bag? It's color orange. Good job. We also have this one. How do you call this one? It's called shoes. Very good. They are called shoes. What about this one? It's good job. It's sun. Sun. And we also have cup. Can you say that again? Cup. Okay. Now, let's define what is non-living things again. What are non-living things? These are things that have no life. These are things that have no life. For example, we have air. Can you say that again? Air. Let's spell the word air. A-I-R. Air. Okay. We also have Water. Water. Can you say water? Good job. Okay, let's spell the word water. W A T E R. Water. Okay, aside from air, aside from water, we also have foods. Foods. Let's spell the word foods. F O O D -E S. Foods. Okay, we also have soil. Soil. The word is soil. Let's spell the word soil. S O I L. Soil. Soil is another example of non living thing. Aside from soil, we also have pencil. Pencil. Let's spell the word pencil. P E N. C I L pencil. We use pencil in writing. And we also have table. Good job. It's a table. Let's spell the word table. T e A B L E table. These are just a few examples of non living things. Now, we also have to learn about the key features of non-living things. Let's have this teddy bear as an example. Okay? So first, they do not breathe. They do not breathe. Unlike living things, including us, we can breathe. But non-living things, just like the teddy bear, cannot breathe. Okay? Next. They do not need food and water. They cannot eat because they do not have life. That is why they do not need food and water. Also, we have... They do not grow. They do not grow. Non-living things do not grow. Next, they do not have a body waste. They do not have body waste. Next, they do not react to stimuli. They do not react to stimuli. Even if you scare them, they will not react. They do not get startled. Also, they cannot move by themselves. They cannot move by themselves. Unlike human and animals, they cannot move. Okay, so those are the key features of non-living things. Now, let's move on to our activities. Okay, so for your activity, you can open your book to page 32. Page 32. Now, get ready with your pencil and book because we're going to answer this all together. Okay, so last week, we have answer this part the living things part now for this video we're going to answer the non-living things okay are you ready 
If you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so to answer this one, we have choices right here. So we have three choices here. We have grow, move, breathe. Let's read it again. Grow, move, and breathe. So you choose your answers from these three choices here. Okay, so let's start with number one. Number one says, Non-living things do not blank. Non-living things do not grow. Non-living things do not move. Non-living things do not breathe. The closest answer is, Okay, non-living things do not breathe. It can also be grow or it can also be move. Okay, for number two, it says non-living things cannot blank by themselves. Non-living things cannot blank by themselves. So what is your answer? Is it grow or move? Okay, so if your answer is move, then you are correct. Good job. Now let's move on to number three. Number three says non-living things do not blank and get bigger. Non-living things do not blank and get bigger. Of course, we are left with only one choice here. So, the answer is grow. Okay, so you write grow here. G-R-O-W, grow. So, this is for the first part of your activity. You can pause this one if you are not finished. Now, for the second part, we have this one. You can find this on page 33. Page 33. 33. Now, the direction says, look at the pictures and fill in the blanks. Look at the pictures and fill in the blanks. Before you fill in the blank, you have to tick your answer first. Okay, so what you're going to do is to identify the picture, whether it is a living thing or a non-living thing. If it's a living thing, you tick the first circle if it's a non-living thing you take the second circle and then you are going to write the key feature here do they move do they breathe do they react to stimuli you write your answer okay so let's start with number one are you ready if you're ready let's get started so for number one again this is a picture of a bag now is a bag living thing or non-living thing? Take your answer. Take your answer. So if your answer is non-living thing, then you are very good. Now you have to write at least one key feature of a bag. Can a bag move? Can a bag breathe? They do not breathe. Okay, bags do not breathe since it is a non-living thing. You can pause this one to write your answer. Now for number two, this is a picture of a plant. Plant. Now, is a plant living thing or non-living thing? Of course, this is a living thing because it can grow. Plants can grow. Okay, next we have number three. These are pictures of pen and pencils. Okay, now is this a living thing or non-living thing? You take your answers now. So of course, pen and pencils are non-living things because can you give me some, can you give me at least one feature of this non-living thing? Because they do not move. Okay, because they do not move. Next, let's proceed to number four. Number four is a, what is this animal? It's a, a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Now, is a rabbit living thing or non-living thing? Of course, it's a living thing. Now, can you give me one feature of a living thing? It can breathe. Very good. Just like us human, they can breathe. Okay, for number five, we have a picture of snake. 
snake. Can you say snake? Snake. Very good. Is a snake living thing or a non-living thing? A snake is, of course, a living thing because it can move. It can crawl. It can crawl on the ground. Now, for number six, this is a picture of a ball. It's a ball. Now, is a ball living thing or non-living thing? Of course, it's a non-living thing because it cannot move because non-living things do not move. Okay, so this is the second part of your activity. If you're not yet finished writing, you can pause this one. Okay, and if you're finished, let's move on to page 36. This will be the third part of your activity. Now it says here, look at the pictures and answer the questions. So these are the pictures that you're gonna look. Okay, so picture number one is a flower. Number two is a chicken. Picture number three is a robot. Picture number four are books. Number five is a teddy bear or a stuffed toy. Picture number six is a turtle. Picture number seven are shoes. Picture number eight is a monkey. Okay, so you're going to base your answers from these eight pictures. So let's move on to number one. Number one says, living things are pictures blank. What are the pictures of living things? Is it number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? You write the number of pictures of living things. Okay, we can see four pictures of living things. What are these numbers? Number one, two, six, and eight. These are pictures of living things. Now, let's read it one more time. Living things are pictures one, two, six, and eight. Because, what is the reason why? Because they have life isn't it living things have life okay now for number two non-living things are pictures blank now what are the pictures of non-living things also we have four this is very easy we have number three four five and seven three four five and seven okay let's read it one more time non-living things are pictures three four five and seven because what is the reason why because they do not have life because they do not have life unlike living things non-living things do not have life Okay, so that is the reason why. Now, for number three, what is the difference between pictures five and six? What is the difference between pictures five and six? So, picture number five is a stuffed toy. Picture number six is a turtle. So, what is the difference? Of course, picture number five is a non-living thing and picture number six is a living thing. A non-living thing and a living thing. So that is the difference. Again, you can pause this one to write your answer. And if you're finished, you move, let's move on to, and if you're finished, let's move on to number four. So number four says, what does the living thing in picture eight need? Okay, so this is a picture of number eight. What does this monkey need? Of course, monkey needs food, water, and air. A monkey needs food, water, and air in order for it to survive or live. Okay, so that is the end of our activity. So that's it. Class, don't forget to 
answer your activities and then if you're done answering your activities you take a picture and then send it to the line group i am going to check them one by one okay thank you so much for listening always keep safe stay healthy and take care of yourselves okay goodbye